Welcome back to Relaxing with Mac Warrior Online. Still doing our thing. So far, there's no issues with our uh, lowered armor on our legs. I have a strong inclination that uh, I could lower those damn things to 20, and I still would get away with it 95% of the time. I mean, the damage from the, the uh, legs ends up transferring to the side compartments, I think. So that would really mess me up pretty bad, but uh, so far, nothing's happening. I suppose my atlas... Uh, my atlas is so wide. I mean, this is what I look like from the back. All of that room they have to shoot me, so they're not really targeting my legs at all. That's good. That means I can store ammo there. Nobody cares. I can get some spare tonnage by removing the, am or the, the armor down there. And everything's good. Everything's good with the world. Really feeling these, these color combos. When I do support um, the game developers by paying a bit into the game, it's usually for like actually functional equipment. I, I don't know how I feel about paying for aesthetic upgrades. I'm very, very frugal regarding efficiencies. Now I say that I'm good. I'm good at building things, but not good at actually utilizing them. But I don't believe we can prove ourselves wrong by getting over this damn hill. Hills are our nemesis as well now, because we slow down when we head up them. I haven't noticed speeding up when I go downhill. Where the hell is that mechanic? Maybe we have to slow down because our legs are too slow and we can't keep up and we'll fall forward. I really don't know why my mech has fingers, though. It doesn't seem like I use them for anything. I mean, I would like to have a falcon punch, but I'm not seeing it. I like the purely weapon mount ones. They're a little bit higher. I can shoot over stuff better. Now, if those mechs were at a disadvantage for getting up off the ground, which I could totally see because they don't actually have articulated arms, um, I would be totally fine with that. Is there more team members around here? I suppose they're over there. Light mechs, most likely. Convoy. So SO, the short range missiles have had a damage buff. And that bodes well for our long range missiles, so maybe we'll get into that. I really don't I feel uncomfortable without being near cover. But we got a lot of team members with us, so some dude up on the hill. Uh, I'm not initially concerned about him, so let's keep pushing on to Epsilon. God we're slow. I know it kills... <laughs> it's killing me, so it must be killing you guys. It takes us forever to get anywhere. Let's get a clear shot, clear shot here. Yeah, how'd you like the taste of my 20? Pretty well, I think. Oh crap, he's above my... He's above my ability to target. They're too high. They found my one of many weaknesses. Well, screw it. Let's get up here and then we'll go around. Oh, come on. Quit using those fair and realistic tactics against my mech. Come around this corner here. Oh, damn you. Damn you, building. Surely that had nothing to do... Oh, there we go. I bitch and moan and blame it on other things, but... It's usually my fault. Dag, you're it! I see you don't like the taste of my game. It's quite pungent. Uh, I wonder where everyone else is. It's fairly quiet. We hold most of the control points. And the game's done. Woohoo! It's actually pretty short. I'm not sure how well we did. Well, <laughs> very good for probably the other people. Oh, hills! 
All types of hills. Actually, we did fairly low. I mean, I didn't take a lot of damage, and I felt as though we were kind of uh, tearing it up there, but um, wherever the hell this guy was, he was doing well. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments about the video or what you may want to see on the channel in the future, please leave us a comment below. And if you would like to see more of our future videos, feel free to subscribe.